stuff. Yo, I'm Bob. Into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Going to be unboxing another action figure from Loyal Subjects. Best action line. And I've been looking forward to unboxing this guy for quite some time. This is a Foot Elite. Or I think he's dubbed Elite Foot Clan Soldier Online. I just think of him as Elite Guard because... If I'm right, these were the guys I was introduced to back when uh, the 2003 show was airing. They were, of course, Shredder's Elite Guard. So he ought to be an interesting, interesting customer here. So he's he's uh, safe in his little plastic tray. Probably not going to be able to see him. So I'm going to pause this, break him out, and we'll take a closer look. Back in the blink of an eye. Pause video. Space. Resume. All right, so the Elite Guard is out of the packaging, or the Elite Foot Clan Soldier, if you want to get a uh, box technical about it. I like him a lot. I don't know if he looked like this in the 2K3 show. Um, got an armored look, of course. He has claws on his gauntlets like IDW Shredder. He's got two head sculpts, uh, and he came out of the package wearing the hooded head sculpt. He's got the hooded head sculpt on to go with the cape. He's got a cape in the back there. I like that look a lot. And he's got blades on his shoulders like his master. Just a cool look for these guys. And I would imagine the mask looks interesting too. Um, not really familiar with the, with the type of mask that he has there, but that's a, that's a pretty wicked looking, looking mask design that he's got. He's got armor. Gauntlet, shin guards. I don't know if he's got armor across the chest or if that's more fabric. Pause video space. Resume. So he has an Aginata in his right hand. I've always liked that weapon. Massive. This is a this is a crazily <laughs> long knocking out of there. Alright. Stop taking pause space. Resume. And he also has a head sculpt uh, that I'm very familiar with. So when these guys started to fight the turtles in the 2K3 show, I remember first thing I heard was nice hats. So this is the head sculpt that uh, I might have him displayed with. I don't think you're supposed to display him with the cape and the hat. Uh, the hooded head goes with the cape, of course, but I don't know if he'd wear the cape with the hat. Uh, I've never really seen an action figure wearing a cape and a hat before. Um, but, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe I am. That'd be interesting. I don't know. Maybe they do wear capes and hats. I never heard about capes in the in the 2K3 show. Maybe they wear capes and hats in IDW. I don't know. But yeah, you get the uh, the head with the casa on there. And you also get a double-bladed Naginata. So you have your choice of pole arms here. So he's got two different looks. He's got two different Naginata that he can wield here. I love this guy. I'm glad he came out so well. And I did have to use um, a hair dryer to to get the uh, the hatted. I mean the the head with the casa on it on there. But that's okay though. I mean it's it stays on there when you get it on there. Um, the hooded head can come off and go back on real well. But for some reason, um, the neck joint on the the head with the casa that's a bit tighter. So you've got to. You've got to work on the uh, the ball joint with with you know a handy dandy hair dryer to uh, to get it to go on there. But all you have to do is wiggle it around, and it'll warm itself up for a little bit, and then you know it's it's, it's on there. And then you can 
repeat the process to get it off, I guess. Or maybe it maybe it comes right off. I'm not sure. Stop. Pause video recording. Space. Resume. All right. So he has alternate hands. I've only got one splayed hand attached there on his left, but yeah, he's he can he can have splayed hands. He's got one that goes on the right. It looks the same. So I'm only gonna display him with one of them. And I suppose, if I must, I'll put the straw hat on his on his body while he's wearing the cape. I, I just I can't imagine somebody wearing a cape and a hat at the same time. I mean, maybe it's done. The hood goes with the with the cape, though, for sure. Um, I, just, I don't know. I would I would just have the cape on. Stop. Pause video. With the hood, and then when he's you know just fighting and all that stuff, or not wanting to wear the cape, then he just wears the hat. I don't know. Space. Resume. Okay, here he is in his cape and hat. <laughs> he, he had a bit too much uh, libations and he's just kind of wearing whatever he wants to right now. Although if, 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 if the look does suit him, then that's cool. I mean, I could display him like this if uh, he looks like that in the comics. I don't think he does. He might, though. There's no descriptions as to their outfits. I guess sometimes they wear capes and hoods. And then, I mean, I would imagine them wearing the straw hats, uh, you know, with, with uh, without the cape. But, I mean, if it goes with the cape, too, that's cool. I'm really big into uh, outfit variations and whatnot. I don't know. I've always loved that, especially with Star Wars action figures. Uh, and I like that now with interchangeable heads... You know, with helmets and without helmets, you know, with hoods and without, you know, with straw hats and without, um, you, you do have more than, than one way to display your action figures. That's really cool that uh, they've allowed us to do things like that. Pause video. Space. Resume. I don't know why you'd want to have him wielding both of his weapons here, but he can do that. He's got two gripping hands. He's got the double in the left hand. And he's got the single in the right. And he's got his hooded head back on. <laughs> he's probably like, I wish this guy would make him stop change my clothes. All right, well, that'll do for the Foot Elite in the Loyal Subjects line. The NECA version is... He's coming. I think he's got more stuff. I'm not sure when he's supposed to ship. Maybe November. I did when I, uh, I did go ahead and get uh, get that one a while back. I don't know when BBTS is going to uh, gonna ship him, but he should have the straw hat and stuff and more weapons because I think they also wielded swords uh, in the 2K3 show. I think one of them had an axe. One of them had a trident or yari whatever you want to call it. Uh, of course, you had, I think you had a Naginata there as well. And one more weapon I'm forgetting about, I think. Sword, Naginata, Axe, and, uh, oh yeah, the Yari. So I think there were four that they had in the, in the cartoon. They could also teleport, I think, which is really cool. Or at least it, it was, I was, I was under the impression that they could teleport from place to place. Either that or they were just really, really fast, really, really stealthy. Uh, maybe they used... Utram technology to do that, but I love those guys in the cartoon. And uh, whenever they're introduced in IDW Comics, I'm pretty sure I'll get a kick out of them too, because they, they've got such a cool design. Until next time. Stop taking